Hello, welcome to the Mark Janard Show, the cybersecurity show. In this video, researchers have found a huge flaw in Intel CPUs. Well, let's be nice. Yeah. Let's be nice. And I'm going to go over it in this video. So without the let's get right into it. We're going dark. So Intel's 13th and 14th generation CPUs, particularly the Raptor Lake series, are currently facing significant stability issues with reports of high failure rates among users. This problem has been traced to elevate voltage demands caused by microcode algorithm that results in incorrect voltage requests to the processors, leading to crashes and instability during operation, especially under heavy loads like gaming. So here are some of the key issues identified, high failure rates, right? reports indicate that Intel's largest clients are experiencing failure rates between 10% and 50% for these CPUs with issues manifesting as spontaneous reboots, blue screens, and application crashes. The i9 models are particularly affected. The microcode algorithm flaw, Intel has acknowledged that this instability in linked, uh, you know, the instability is linked to a microcode algorithm that miscalculates voltage requirements, causing, causing the CPUs to operate under excessive power conditions this has been confirmed through analysis of return processors oxidation concerns there has also been concerns regarding potential oxidation of bias in the cpu's pcb which could increase electrical resistance and contribute to instability however intel has stated that this manufacturing issue has been addressed and is not the primary cause of the current problems the upcoming fixes, Intel plans to release a microcode update by mid-August to address these issues. However, user, users are already experiencing problems, uh, you know, and they may find that the damage to their processors is irreversible, meaning that the update will not restore stability to affected units. <laughs> Uh, in regards to performance mitigation as a temporary fix, users are advised to reduce RAM speeds and adjust CPU settings to lower performance levels to maintain stability with, you know, while Intel works on a more permanent solution. So the situation, in, you know, with Intel's 13th and 14th generation CPU is critical. It's vital, right? With many users facing significant operational challenges, Intel's forthcoming macro code update is a step towards resolution, but the efficacy of this fix remains uncertain for those already affected. Users are advised to monitor their systems closely and consider potential alternatives if issues persist. So what exactly causes the corrosion slash oxidation issue in the 13th and 14th gen CPUs? So the corrosion and oxidation issue affected, you know, affecting Intel's 13th and 14th generation CPUs primarily stems from a manufacturing defect related to the bias of the, pro, you know, the processor's PCB, also known as the printed circuit board. This defect can lead to the formation of an oxidation layer, which can alter electrical properties and contribute to instability in the CPU. So here are some of the key factors contributing to the oxidation issue. You have the manufacturing defect. Intel has confirmed that some early batches of the 13th gen desktop processors were affected by a manufacturing defect that allowed oxidation to occur. This issue does not impact all chips, but has been significant enough to cause concern among users and manufacturers alike. You have electrical uh, resistance changes and oxidation can increase the electrical resistance of the BIOS, which may lead to improper voltage delivery to the CPU. This is critical because CPUs require precise voltage levels to operate correctly. Any deviation can result in instability, crashes, or even permanent damage to the processor. You have microcode algorithm issues. That's when, you know, it's alongside the oxidation problem, right? Intel has identified that a faulty microcode algorithm has been causing CPUs to request incorrect voltage levels, exacerbating the instability issues. This algorithmic flaw leads to elevated operation um, or operating voltages that can accelerate the degradation of the CPU structure over time. Please take a moment right now to hit that subscribe button and like button. Once again, please take a moment right now to hit that subscribe button and like button. So long-term reliability concerns, the combination of these factors raises significant long-term reliability concerns for affected processors. Users have reported spontaneous reboots and crashes, particularly under heavy workloads, indicating that the oxidation and voltage management issues are critical to address. 
So the oxidation issue in the Intel's 13th and 14th generation CPUs is a complex problem rooted in manufacturing defects that affect electrical conductivity compounding by, uh, you know, software related voltage mismanagement. Intel is working on a microcode patch to mitigate these issues, but the long-term effects on affected CPUs remain uncertain. So what are some of the long-term implications of running Intel CPUs at reduced performance levels? So running Intel CPUs at reduced performance levels, particularly as a response to stability issues, can have several long-term implications. These implications primarily revolve and, you know, they revolve around thermal management, performance, and overall CPU longevity. So let's get into performance implications, right? You have reduced performance, which is implementing a baseline profile or underclocking the CPU can lead to a noticeable decrease in performance. Reports indicate that users may experience performance drops of around 9% or more in various workloads when operating within specific, uh, specified limits to enhance stability. This reduction can affect both general computing tasks and gaming performance, potentially leading to a less responsive user experience. You have impact on workloads. While in some users, you know, while some users may notice minimal impact in gaming, other workloads, particularly those that are CPU intensive, may suffer significantly. This is particularly relevant for high-end CPUs like the Core i9-14900K, which is, you know, they're designed to handle demanding applications, right? Now you have thermal management and longe uh, longevity. So heat management running CPUs at reduced performance levels typically results in lower thermal output. This can mitigate risk associated with overheating, which is crucial for maintaining system stability and preventing thermal throttling, right? However, it may also lead to a less efficient use of the CPU's capabilities as the performance is intentionally capped. So silicon degradation, high performance CPUs are often pushed to their limits, which can lead to silicon degradation over time. By running at reduced performance levels, users may potentially extend the lifespan of their CPUs by minimizing the stress on the silicon. This is particularly important given that CPUs operating uh, you know, you know that CPUs operating at a high, you know, power levels may experience accelerated wear and instability. So it noted in discussions about the potential for rapid degradation due to aggressive overclocking practices. So now let's get into stability over time. So operating within recommended limits can enhance the stability of the system, reducing the likelihood of crashes and other issues associated with high power consumption. This stability can lead to a more reliable computing experience over the long term, especially for users who rely on their systems for critical tasks. So what does that mean so while running intel cpus at reduced performance levels can lead to immediate performance drawbacks it may also provide long-term benefits in terms of stability and longevity users may weigh the trade-offs between performance and reliability especially in light of the current issues with instability in high-end intel processors adopting a conservative approach to performance may ultimately lead to a more sustainable computing experience. So here are some key points regarding other notable uh, CPU issues. You have, again, we talked about stability and overheating problems, right? Frequent crashes. Users have reported that Intel's Core i9 CPUs are prone to crashing during demanding tasks such as gaming and in some other cases, failing to boot into Windows. These issues appear to stem from power and thermal management problems where CPUs draw excessive power leading to overheating and shutdowns to prevent damage, okay? That's that. Then you have the motherboard blame game, right? Intel has shifted responsibility to the motherboard manufacturers claiming that inadequate implementation of thermal and power delivery safeguards is to blame for the inst instability. So they noted that many motherboards disable critical protections in pursuit of higher performance, which exacerbates the problem. And then let's get into the technical details, right? Power limits and BIOS settings. So Intel's 13 gen CPUs were initially recommended to operate at a PL2 power level two limit at 188W, which was later revised to 253W. However, some manufacturers have set these limits incorrectly, leading to instability. So in Intel has advised that default BIOS settings should align with their specif uh, specifications to prevent these issues. That's what I have for you today. 
please take a moment to hit that subscribe button and like button once again please take a moment right now to hit that subscribe button and like button i appreciate your viewership stay safe and see you on the next video